Catch a mouth. Hey, what up guys? It's your boy Bet on me with some more Destiny 2 content. Hey, as you guys just saw from that video, I just soloed the Whisper of the Worm mission to get my Whisper of the Worm exotic uh, sniper rifle. And I am now ranked as the number one PvE player in Destiny history. Ah, no, that's just a joke. <laughs> Far from it. Now I tried to complete this mission when it first came out the first few days and I did it like five times with a fire team and man we could not beat it. We kept uh, a couple of times we got to the end and we were struggling and at the time uh, you know I really wasn't a big PvE player so I was just like you know what screw it man I don't really need it. Then I got the revoker I was like ah eh, well I don't need uh, Izanagi's I don't need Whisper I got the revoker but I tell you what man I found out about this easy cheese now uh, it's actually like a little glitch where it makes your uh, character so powerful now you're taking good damage but it makes it to where the bosses they man it is so easy all the ads you could just one one punch ads and kill them all uh, and I saw that from Paul's Reset Play and also Fallout Plays put out a video on it. So there is a little glitch. So what I'm going to do, guys, anybody could do this. A noob could do this. I'm a noob at this. And I just did this by myself, okay? And had like almost six minutes left uh, on the timer. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step of what I did, a walkthrough of the gameplay. You guys are going to see where I messed up several times. Uh, but hey, I still got it done in plenty of time. So we're about to go ahead and get it into that and right before we do guys if you do like great pvp and pve content weapon reviews how to videos subclass builds a little bit of destiny 2 news as well great gameplay this is definitely the channel for you so go ahead and click that sub and notification bell but if not you guys watching this, this is enough for me and i appreciate the support all right guys let's get into right, it guys so let's quickly go over what i was using uh when i did the solo now to be honest with you it really doesn't matter what guns you use these enemies are going to be so weak uh man you can kill them pretty easy but i am using this scholar scout rifle the recluse now i'm using the swords when i'm on the jumping part on jumping puzzles I, I just it just feels better to me with a sword but other than that I'm using Thunderlord to clear ads I'm also using bottom tree Titan so I also use the lion rampant uh, leg armor for Titan because it's real easy to use to jump on those jumping puzzles and I would suggest use some hunter uh, stumpies if you have some to help you out on those jumps so to get this quest started, you will need to spawn into Io in the Lost Oasis. Now there's going to be a Taken champion that you have to look for, and he will spawn anytime you see a public event in any area on Io. Now this Taken champion can spawn in three areas. If you look at the top red arrow, it can spawn right there on a cliff. If you look at the arrow in the middle, that's on my character, he could spawn right there in a ravine. And then if you look at the bottom arrow, he could spawn over there in a cave. Now you would not see that blue crown to the left. That is when you complete the Whisper of the Worm, there will become a heroic quest that you'll need to complete uh, to get a catalyst, I believe. So that's what that's for right there. And here is a picture of the Taken Champion that you need to kill. There will be uh, Taken Knights everywhere, but make no mistake about it. It has to be this Taken Champion right here in order to kill him and open up a portal. And this is how the portal look right there. And the only thing you will need to go up to it and press square and activate it and it will start the mission. All right, so once you're in the mission, you will need to jump up on this rock right here. There is a little edge that you need to jump up. Alrighty, right there, and then there's just going to be a little uh, taken uh, thing right here that you'll need to shoot down. Uh, now, I will tell you this. Uh, the first time I played this, uh, I watched a video by Fallout Plays, and he w was uh, clearing like these Taken Blights. Uh, and uh, I found out that you do not have to clear the Taken Blights when I was watching Paul's Reset uh, Plays video. Uh, you know, you have to do that when you're doing a heroic, but on the regular one like this, that's all you need to do uh, is just kill ads. Do not kill taking blights. I got all the way to the end the first time I played it and I ran out of time right when I was about to kill the third boss because I tried to kill those taking blights. So you don't have to. So uh, only thing you need to do is just follow this path. Now, there is a quicker way to jump. 
uh through here but like i said i'm brand new so i really did not know it so i just jumped all the way down here and you want to make sure you're following these red lights okay they're gonna guide your path pretty easy all right guys so just make sure you don't get hit by these things coming out the wall now you want to jump down here to this little ledge there is a quicker way to jump down uh but like i said i'm a new to it so i just followed the way that i know how to that i saw in the video want to jump down here to this little ledge right here this little uh stand uh now you want to jump over here to the right now this is where it's going to get pretty tricky uh because you're going to have to jump around this corner and it's a little distance uh, that's why I used the lion rampant because it helped me glide. Now we're gonna come under here and start walking. Now, if you can see these dark spots on the floor, that's gonna let you know that the wall is gonna push out. Now it could push you over the edge, so you want to make sure to watch for that. You see the black uh, circle spot, whatever this is, in front of me again. Look at it. It came out. Okay. So we just wanna bypass it. Keep going. All right, now it's gonna get tricky again right here. As you gotta say, I'm gonna die here because I didn't know that one was gonna push out real fast. So I, I should have grabbed on the ledge, but it didn't. So I end up dying right there. So I had to rinse and repeat. All right, so I spun in and I'm right back where I was when I died, but I end up making it through. Now we're gonna jump over here to the left uh, and you see that little globe uh, with the light coming. We're gonna have to kneel down, but here's another tricky part. Look at that, there's a little hole that you have to jump across and I died again. Uh, now look at the clock still going, but I'm still making progress, okay? All right, so this time I actually got it right, guys. And don't worry about the clock, man. Uh, I, I was a little afraid at first, but after I beat this, I realized I had so much time. It, that This is really the hardest part, just the jumping puzzle. The encounters are so easy now because of the glitch. So you want to jump right here to that uh, little elevator that I jumped to. Now, you want to jump to this ledge, but I'm going to miss it because I got hit in the head <laughs> by one of the things coming out the wall. So you got to watch that. But as you can see, man, I keep dying, but I'm getting stuff done. All right, so same thing. We're going to jump back on this little elevator. This time I'm going to successfully uh, make this jump. Make sure that thing from the wall does not knock me out. All right, so there we go. A successful jump. Now you want to come over here a uh, hard left. You want to come through this way right here. Uh, now you want to come over to this way now be careful because these little uh, things coming out the wall can knock you down that red all the way at the bottom uh, so just keep going here and that's what the lion ramp part lion rampant I'm sorry and the sword really played a big part because I was able to jump across pretty easy now this is going to be very tough if you don't have the lions I would say jump to the left on the little ledge then jump right here to where I'm going and then jump across again now you want to come down but as you're going to see I should get killed right here uh no I, I kept going now you want to go to this little ledge right here if you don't have lions or stumpies but you want to get right here but watch this thing uh i'm gonna jump over here and watch it close on me so see you got to be very careful to time that very correctly and there's like a uh taking thing shooting at you so be very careful all right, so like I said, if you don't have anything to help you out with uh, your jumping, make sure you hit that left uh, ledge that we just passed by first. But like I said, I have on a lion, so I'm just going to keep it going. Uh, same exact path like I did before. If you don't have anything to jump on, jump to that right right there. But I'm going to jump here. Now I'm going to kill this thing. <laughs> you know, you don't really have to, but I, I just like doing it. All right, so I'm going to have to time jumping. So I wait till the thing close. Now I come through. And there we go. Now, I don't know right here if this red right there, if that was a hole or not. I just jumped across just to be safe. Now, once you're in, you see all this, you need to jump to the right. And you see like those little portals. You want to come all the way down to the end. Now, there is a taken, I think like a vandal or something that'll be shooting at the end. But don't worry about it. You, you won't need to kill them. Come all the way down to the end portal. And you want to jump on through. And this is going to bring you over to the next step. When I first did this, when the mission started, you had to go to a wall puzzle over there and it was real hard to do, but we found out now that there's a little hole right here that you could drop down. Uh, you just want to just kind of look around till you see the little drop. Your ghost will guide you. All right, so you want to drop down there. You want to go to your straight down. There's going to be some little, little stairs uh, come up here. Then you're going to make a little left turn. Now you want to jump on this little ledge right there to your left. 
uh, you got it's a little circle ledge is gonna take you all the way around uh, and like I said you want to put on make sure you have on a sword uh, at least I wanted to because I accidentally took off my sword because I thought I was about to be to a part where I cleared ads uh, so I put on Thunderlord but I wish I would have put on uh, kept my sword on I did not know but you know I just made it down so you jump all the way down to where I just jumped watch this little ledge right here all right you come down jump to your left and when you come all the way to the end, you want to jump to your right and you want to jump right here through this little red part. All right. So you want to come down here and there's a drop down to your uh, bottom. And this is where we're going to get to where you first start clearing ads. Now, the best. Uh, this is where I messed up. You see all these taking blights. I started trying to kill all these taking blights the first time I played. And like I said, I got all the way to the end and ran out of time. Uh, but like when I saw Paul's Reset Plays video, he said, you do not need to kill the blights unless you're doing the heroic version. Uh, this is the regular version. So you don't have to worry about that, guys. Just uh, kill the ad. All right, guys. So we're just going to go back down here. We're going to clear the ass. Now I kind of found running to the right uh or the left area is the best way to clear the ads pretty easy not in the middle uh and this was a great part to pop your super uh especially if you have something a good roaming super because you'll clear out a lot of these ads right here so you want to clear out all the ads then there's going to be just a little uh little taken blight blocking your entrance uh, and then to, to go to the next part, you're just going to need to shoot it and it'll take you to the next spot. But like I said, do not c clear all these uh, blights that are right here in this area. So just keep clearing. I picked up a little little stuff right there, a little souvenir. I uh, hope it was a good light level. All right. So we're about almost through here. OK, so you see that uh, we just need to take this down again and go over to the next spot. And like you said, you're going to see, uh, you know, I'm going to get, I get killed several times in this game. And like I say, in your mind, you're like rushing, like, oh my God, oh no, I'm not going to have enough time. But believe me, not killing all those, uh, taking blights, destroying them will really add about four or five minutes back to your timer. All right. So you want to kill it. You want to jump down here. Now you want to make sure you take this down. Now watch this. I messed up. I'm going to come up here and get killed. Uh, like, I don't know what the, the, I was punching that the taking that was up here. He disappeared. And all of a sudden, I think he just like show back up or something. Yeah, he wasn't even right there at first. So I got killed right there. And so I found the best part is just kind of go to the right or hard left and clear ass. And I will tell you this, man, due to this Corona stuff, uh, I am working my businesses from my home and my recordings from my home. I normally do it at my office. Uh, but man, I got kids here. My, my wife is here. So if you guys hear crap in the background, hey man, just just know, brother, I'm trying to do all he can do, <laughs> trying to give you guys some content. Even though I'm at home, dude, at the home office and stuff like that, I would rather do it in my uh, office. I have two offices, and I rather uh, I have playstations at both, and I would rather do my stuff there. But hey, I have to do it here, so it's all good, and I get to spend more time with the kids. So I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, so yeah, we, we just want to keep clearing out uh, all these ads. Uh, it's gonna take you over to the next spot. Look, I, I, uh, with the grenade, and I'm still, you know, accomplishing some things, man. This is not near flawless, okay, but I, I'm getting things done. So we're gonna have to clear this right here. Now, when you come out, uh, there are a couple of uh, taken up top that you want to shoot down, and uh, two uh, centurions taken spawn behind you. Now, you will need to uh, kill these guys in order to open up a little portal down at the bottom. Uh, when I first did this, I, I saw a video where I had to clear all these ads and man, it took like two minutes to do that. You do not have to clear all these ads. Just clear the two centurions uh, that spawn behind you and I just killed a couple at top up top uh, because they kept, you know, taking me down and killing me. So right after that, after I killed the two centurions, I reloaded. Now I'm dropping down to to the bottom uh and we're about to get into the last uh match the final part of the uh game all right so uh we're gonna come in here don't take out the taking blights like i did first time and made a mistake leave them there uh go ahead and clear out all the ads because what's gonna happen in three taking bosses are gonna spawn and you're gonna need to kill them uh so like i said look if you look at the timer it's six minutes and like uh 17 seconds left and i'm uh here 
and you know you may seem like you got a rush but you don't like i said these ads are so easy to kill you can one punch them uh any gun and pretty much do any damage you can have blue guns and it uh pretty much kill them all right so i'm just gonna keep going all right now the bosses are about to spawn out whenever you see those ads come in that means the bosses are coming in too whenever you see them spawning so there they go so i just saved my super for last and i'm going to go ahead and pop it now i'm about to go ahead and clear these babies out let's go let's go all right the whisper just dropped look how easy that was guys now it went to the tower so i'm gonna go take a look at it but yeah we got that done in like with five minutes and like 30 seconds left on the clock all right guys so here's the whisper of the worm which is pretty ridiculous and also uh i really like this gun man i've played with it a few times uh even though they nerf sniper rifles uh it, power is still pretty good uh and what's crazy uh this i really have not really soloed too many things in destiny uh two i did the uh, uh outbreak prime when it the perfected when the cheese was out then also this cheese so normally i would do cheese but i remember in d1 i got the black spindle which was the whisper of the worm and it was a hard quest uh and i soloed that one so other than that man these are the only two solos i've ever done uh so i'm looking forward to doing more pve stuff and doing more solos uh as well in the future but hey guys let me know what you think down in the comments down below uh did this help you out uh also if you guys do like great pvp pve content weapon reviews how to videos subclass builds entertaining gameplay a little destiny 2 news as well this is definitely the channel for you so go ahead and click that sub and notification bell but if not you guys watching this is enough me and i appreciate the support and until next time this your boy i bet on me saying peace hope to see you guardians in the destiny universe let's team up and have some fun you guys enjoy your day